Hi, Seymour. Nice to see you. Thanks for inviting me over. Hello, Superintendent. It's always a pleasure to have you here. I made some prong balls in the oven and I can't wait for you to try them. Sounds interesting. Can I get you a drink while we wait? Sure, a glass of water would be perfect. Thank you. No problem. Let's sit down and enjoy our drinks while we wait for the prawn balls to finish cooking. How long has your day been so far? It's been good, just busy with school duties. How about yours? Same here. Lots of paperwork to go through. But I'm glad I can take a break and enjoy this delicious treat you prepared. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. You know, I also planned a little surprise for us after lunch. Oh, really? What is it? I got tickets to the theater tonight. I thought we could enjoy a play together before you head back home. <laughs> Let's definitely do that. So, how have your students been behaving lately? They've been pretty good, but there's always room for improvement. How about yours? Same here. I think we need to come up with some new strategies to manage their behavior better. Agreed. We should definitely discuss that further. Here you go. Let me know what you think. Wow, this is really good, Seymour. You truly have a talent for cooking. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. This has been a lovely afternoon. Thank you for having me over, Seymour. Ah, I burnt my prawn ball. This is just great. Maybe it's because I was multitasking. Or is it all my fault for not paying attention? I could try making a new recipe with the remaining ingredients. Maybe a burnt prawn soup. No, that's too obvious. How about a burnt prawn pizzas? Now that would be interesting. I'm gonna make this work. I refuse to waste this meal. Medicago, that's it. I can use that as a substitute. Skinner, what's that smoke coming from the stove? Oh, don't worry about that, Chalmers. It's just a steamed prawn ball. The smoke is just a side effect. I don't think that's possible. Have you ever made a steamed prawn ball before? <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. You won't be disappointed, I promise. I don't believe you. This meal isn't what I was promised. You must be referring to Mediego, a regional dialect for prawn ball. Well, that doesn't sound right. Why would anyone call it that? Well, it's all about the cultural nuances of this region. You'll learn soon enough. I don't understand why I can't have what I was promised. This is ridiculous. Fire in the kitchen? What's going on? It's probably just a computer virus. Don't worry about it. Uh... I don't know. Maybe it was a glitch. Can we not focus on more important things right now? I want to see for myself. You can't just dismiss this as a computer virus. Fine, but let's focus on the real problem at hand, okay? I don't trust that computer of yours. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Those prawn balls and my mom. It's all just too weird. Look, man. I don't know what happened with your mom and those prawn balls, but I promise you it was just a coincidence. Okay, okay. I get it. Let's just drop it for now. I'm going home anyway. All right, no worries. Take care, buddy. Yeah, you too. See you later.